Welcome back to the show. We're spoiling you on today's show. We got food, we've got fashion, and now we're talking wine and cider. And there's no better person in this city to talk wine and craft ciders because they always have great events coming up. We're going to tell you about a few of them. Debbie Trenholm is the owner and sommelier over at Savvy Company. Welcome back. Oh, great to you have so you here. Much. No, and it's true though. I love, I love what because again, we were just talking to Lucia about local and Canadian, and that's what you guys concentrate on, right at Savvy. Exactly, and you know what? We've been doing it for 20 years. Is it your 20th? It's Congratulations. Our 20th year, probably to the day. Today's November 3rd. Yes. Yes, to the day. You're kidding. Yeah. Well, yeah. I knew that. That's why yeah. I booked you for this Thank particular you so day. Much. Yes, of course. But honestly, shows like this help our small businesses all across the city so much. So thank you for my, sharing the airtime. My pleasure. And the growth that you've had since beginning to now. Just tell our viewers a little bit about how much you've grown over the years. Well, Debbie. it was funny. Even Chef Ben said, are you still doing savvy grapes? And I was like, oh, my word. <laughs> It's still around. So right. Savvy Grapes is what we started with 20 yeah. years ago, and now we are Savvy Company. And the reason why we dropped the grapes part was that originally we started just with wine, and now we have craft cider, as you mentioned, artisan cheese, and even micro-roasted coffee. Really? That's right. Last and, time you are here, you mentioned that. Yeah, and the yeah. whole idea is that all of this is available um, directly from the producers. So we order directly from the winemakers or the cider makers. None of these wines you will find at the LCBO. Right. And the little known fact is less than 5% of what is made in Ontario and even smaller across the country is actually on the store shelves at the LCBO. So that's why our events are so popular. Exactly. Our Wine exactly. of the Month Club are so popular because you can't find these anywhere anywhere else. Um, let's talk about that event. You've got Outstanding in Your Fields coming up on November the 17th. Again, okay. this is an opportunity to meet the winemakers, to do some tasting, right? And, and to place an order. Yeah, right? and with a wine w tasting with a, glass With a in glass hand, of wine? You, Cheers. All you need is one ticket. None of these extra coupons for samples. Oh, yes. It's just one ticket. And right now we have a buy a ticket and bring a friend for free. Okay. And so that promo goes on until mid next week. And uh, it's a great way to introduce people to Savvy Company and also all the winemakers and right. we've got uh, 25 winemakers and four cider makers actually make that five okay. uh, just another one joined on uh, this morning and they're bringing all kinds of products that are great for every day but also great for the holidays so stock right. up and we deliver with a smile <laughs> always <laughs> Of and course we will ship do. anywhere across uh, <laughs> across Ontario for five dollars uh, is our flat fee for that. Wow, promotion. that is absolutely amazing. And then you've got a couple of virtual tasting because this is something you know I think a lot of people obviously did because of the pandemic and lockdowns and so forth. But it was so popular you, you kept them, right? Oh my gosh, I have done more virtual tasting events than I have actually in person events, all because of COVID. Really, and eh? still doing them for corporate and and organizations wanting to bring people from coast to coast together and so virtual is also a great opportunity to stay at home during the winter stormy mm -hmm. months <laughs> right. and um, enjoy wine and chatting with winemakers as well as um, we're going to have uh, I think on the screen it was just about red wine and chocolate so we'll have chocolate makers from across Canada nice. come on board with winemakers and cider makers that we featured uh, so that's going to be for Valentine's Day okay in January we have uh, the artisan cheese and charcuterie with wine and cider, of course. Right. And so we've got cheesemakers from across the country lined up, as well as charcuterie. Uh, Sita Sausage, who's local. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So it's all about Canadian, all about local. So what do you send people, like a part of your ticket, you send them a package of yes. things, and then virtually the winemakers are there, and the pros like yourself, sommeliers, are telling you about the wines as, as, as you taste them? Is exactly. That... So uh, the Valentine's Day one, for example, red wine and chocolate arrives at your doorstep a couple days before Valentine's Day and then you join us on Zoom and I will be the host. You get to step off the <laughs> stage for a little bit. Nice, I'm the nice. Host. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and you get to enjoy the wines that we have uh, put in your parcel as well as the chocolates while you are listening to uh, the winemaker talk about their wines and tell why it's good with chocolate and then nice. the chocolate maker gets on. And then usually we have local musicians as well okay. dialing in from their studio or their home. And the whole idea is have a party even though you're in each other's 
a living room or yeah. kitchen. I think it's and a great uh, idea. It means you don't have to worry about looking for a parking spot in the snowbank. Exactly. Home, exactly. You don't have to get like. an Uber, right? You exactly. just stay at home and then, you know, have family and friends over and enjoy yourself. And, you know, the reason why you poured this, you said this is a 16-year-old wine, and that's just an example of how, you know, uh, how many how many wineries now have been around for a long time in in, in Ontario in particular, right? Well, in Canada, there's over 800 wineries. 800 now. In five wow. different provinces, and in Ontario alone, there's Prince Edward County, which is just a couple hours away from yeah, here. Yeah, beautiful spot. There's Niagara and Niagara on the Lake, and then there's also an area, Pelea Island, which they call Epic. Right. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And so uh, winemakers are coming to our events. Um, uh, to showcase their wines, but I thought I would pull a bottle of uh, Pinot Noir out of my cellar. Um, I opened it up last night, and, and I thought, I'm just going to keep a little bit so that we can have okay. it on air. Okay. Because this wine was from 2007. Wow. And so 16 years ago, and I want you to try it because okay. it's just showing you the quality. Oh, my goodness. You know, when just I started with Savvy Grapes, uh, it was all about, uh, Canadian wine doesn't taste great. Yeah. You know, Australian, Yellowtail was big at that time. <laughs> oh, I love Yellowtail. <laughs> Yes, it's like, if right. I hear that again, <laughs> give Canadian wine a break. Yeah. And so it's good right now. You don't have to cellar it. But if you choose to, this could be what it tastes All right. Well, cheers. We're going to give cheers. this a try. And so Pinot Noir is one of those wines that you want to cellar for a little so bit. So good. Yeah? Really good. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Better than Yellowtail, right? Much. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that like Yellowtail, I get it, but you're you're right. I mean, things have changed dramatically. And and people are thinking about gift ideas right now. Mm -hmm. You mentioned those subscriptions, right? Do you have a, a number of different ways that people can take advantage of subscriptions? So we have of the month clubs for wine of the month, um, artisan cheese, cider of the month, as well as uh, micro roasted coffee. And what that means is that we got into coffee because a lot of winemakers were doing it on this side. I see. Roasting their own beans. And then we thought, well, we're already promoting your wines. Why don't we learn a little bit more what about What a great your idea. There is so much great coffee around. <laughs> I want to remind everybody, thank you so much, Debbie. My uh, outstanding in their fields, Carlton Dominion Chalmers Center, Friday, November 17th. Uh, there's a VIP reception 5 to 7, main event 7 to 9. Get your tickets. It will sell out. We'll be right back. Now.